Last night we had our first frost and it was a serious freezing event. It's late in October. It's amazing that we've gone this far and my garden was still producing. I knew the frost was coming, so I picked a lot of my tender fruits in advance, like these beautiful orange peppers at varying degrees of ripeness, and my red banana hot peppers, a couple of which I brought in last week in pots that are growing indoors over the winter. But a lot of things I just left because, for example, the tomatillos. I've been harvesting them for months. My freezer is filled. And so I just thought what I'm going to do is let them freeze and I'm going to make salsa. So I've harvested a bunch of other things that I let freeze, including my wonderful, what did I call them again? Crookneck cucumbers. Here's a couple of little tiny ones and one that's a little bigger. This actually froze. There you go. You can see some freezing damage there, but it's still in good shape. But these are all now going to be ingredients for salsa, including these little wonderful, sweet, semi hot, but more sweet than hot peppers. I never remember the exact name. I call them Ben and Stimpy. That way there's no mistake. I just picked some Thai basil that's growing indoors. I have plenty outside, but that did not survive the freezing. So I just picked a few leaves to add to the seasoning that's going to go in, including this sage that survives the winter every year. So I just picked those. And here's some dill that's also growing indoors. And last but not least, lots and lots of chives from outside. These have frozen, but they also handle it very well and come back year after year. So, and a couple of tomatoes. There's, there were two last orange tomatoes that are a little not so pretty looking anymore, but they are still wonderful and delicious. So on to the show here. The first and most important ingredient is the tomatillos. These have frozen and they're in various states of having been frozen. As you can see from these ones that split, they are not frozen at all. They're in perfect condition. But these ones here that are translucent, almost transparent, they, well, look at this one, it's half frozen. The top half froze and the bottom half is still perfect. But even one that's been totally frozen like this, you can see it's becoming glassy, even the white part. This one was completely frozen. So let's cut it in half. And look, it's still perfect. It's just soft now, but it's still perfect. So these will make wonderful salsa. There are still so many outside, but I picked these early this morning before the sunrise when they were still frozen, which made it a lot easier to take off the wrapping. And so I think I've got enough here and I'm going to have salsa for the whole winter until the garden comes back to life next spring. So with that said, I'm going to get chopping. I'm not going to uh, bother filming all of the chopping, especially because I have to be quiet when I'm chopping on my glass cutting board so that I don't make loud noises while we're recording. So I'm going to get busy chopping all of this stuff up and just throwing it all into the pot. And I'll see you again for me in about probably half an hour and for you in a few seconds. Okay, it's done. That took a little while. I wanted to mention that you may have noticed that those tomatillos were primarily green and not ripe. The great thing 
about tomatillos is they still taste wonderful when they're green. It's not like a tomato that way. So there is no downside here at all. These two I've saved. I picked them yesterday before the frost. These are going to be my seed stock for next year, even though I've been growing them now for so long that my garden just keeps coming up. They self seed when you allow them to just fall off, especially when there are so many as there are right now. But I still save a couple each year just in case. So I'll be eating these another day and then scooping out the seeds to save for my gardens for next year. Speaking of which, I'm sure you just gathered that I'm a seed saver big time. These are the seeds from one of those orange tomatoes, just some. There are so many seeds in a tomato. So this is enough for my gardens for next year. I've already got some seeds from prior tomatoes, but I'm just adding this. I like to save them from multiple tomatoes to have different seeds, even though it's the same type. I love these orange tomatoes. They are by far my favorite. Anyways, there you have it. I've got a beautiful, nice pot of tomatillo salsa. I'm going to let this age in the refrigerator for a couple of days before I put it in jars. But rest assured, I'm going to make Mexican for supper tonight and have some.